Okay, welcome to another Lunar Flight video. In the last couple of videos that I did here on Mars, we completed the Lost Cargo missions, and those have proven to be a little bit more difficult on Mars. Uh, in fact, the first one was very challenging, and I'm thinking it might not have even been successful if we had not got that extra uh, fuel efficiency upgrade that we got there, or the thrust efficiency upgrade that we got. But there's another kind of mission that we can do called uh, data survey and I did one of those on the moon and I think it might be interesting to try one of those on Mars as well because you know the added difficulty the lack of visibility all that stuff so for this data survey mission we have to go to let me see where roughly is this located I guess it doesn't tell you exactly so we'll just go ahead and accept it and we'll select the navigation and we'll go to the map Okay, so it's uh, just a little bit to the north of us. All right, let's go ahead and make sure that we have the fuel that we need. So let's go ahead and buy one more fuel. So we have two fuels and a boost. I don't think we'll need the boost for this kind of a mission. Um, all right, so that's everything that we need. So we'll hover up by pressing the right trigger on the Xbox controller, and then we'll uh, rotate around using the left and right shoulder buttons. All right, hover up and start putting in some some yaw movement to rotate around. And the good thing about the data survey, it tells us exactly where it's at, so we don't have to hunt for it. So I just have to find the little green indicator, and there it is. And once again, not only does it show us where it's at through the green indicator, but we can also already see the green sphere straight ahead of us. So I'm just gonna put in some forward translation and just let my V rate come down because I can see the uh, the sphere is much lower than we are right now. So we'll go ahead and let gravity pull us down, and we'll just put in some forward translation to get over towards that point. And I guess maybe if I use the C camera, yeah. So the C cramp camera is also useful for the data survey. So if we lose visibility due to the dust storms. Uh, we can still use our instrumentation to keep us on course. Alright, so we're only 400 meters out, so I'm going to start just letting the atmosphere slow us down a little bit and let gravity bring us down as well. But I want to keep, you know, keep the V-rate under control. I don't want to drop so quickly that I can't compensate for it. So we're moving now around 5 meters a second. I kind of do wish the velocity, so we have the V rate. I also wish we had an H rate. So the, cause I believe the velocity is a combination of your horizontal and vertical. I would like to know the, the horizontal rate by itself. And there's really no way to do that without canceling out the V rate first. All right, so we're getting pretty close. Maybe we can move forward a little bit faster. And I, I wonder if that's on the ground, actually. Uh, usually they're not. Usually you actually have to hover in place. But that one looks like it might actually be sitting on the ground. And if it is, that's going to make this way easier. Because then all we have to do is land inside the sphere. And then we don't have the added difficulty of controlling the vessel. It does look like it's on the ground. At least from where I'm at right now. So we're almost there, just 70 meters to go. Yeah, I think that is on the ground, so that makes it much easier for us. We're just going to hover over there and land, and then we'll be inside the sphere automatically just by landing. Okay, take out our forward velocity and just land. down so we'll go to missions 
and so I guess we're not quite, I guess we do have to hover up. That's fine, all right, so let's hover up, and now we can acquire data. So I guess it is above the ground just by the tiniest little bit. But now we just have to use our translation thrusters to keep us in place. Okay, now we need to go to Bravo. So let me just go ahead and land here for a second, just to get oriented. Alright, now we'll go to Map, and Bravo's already selected. Okay, so we're good to go. We just need to hover up, turn around, and go back to Bravo. Very easy. Alright, hover up, use the right shoulder button to rotate the vessel around. start nulling out that rotation pitch forward and start moving forward towards Bravo and we've only got 500 meters to go not very far so no need to put in a whole lot of forward velocity we will maybe do a bit more than we would normally do like on the moon just because we do have the atmosphere acting as a break okay should be fast enough Probably too fast. I think we might overshoot it actually. So we're just pitching the vessel back so that we can eliminate most of that velocity. Okay, so I think we're pretty well stopped. So let's level out the vessel and see what we need to do for landing here. Okay, so I do wish I could see a bit better. Um, all right, let's translate forward. I think we're clear of the antenna. So just translate forward at a couple meters per second. But otherwise, we just mostly need to settle down now. Go ahead and rotate around just to have the landing site directly in front of us. Okay, eliminate some of that V rate. 75 meters up. Okay, we're just a few more meters up and then we'll be down. We'll be able to upload the data to the to the base and then I'll do a time check maybe we'll do another one of these data surveys oops don't like to hear that <clears throat> okay mostly over the pad now my attention is shifting to that center instrument Touch down nice and easy. There we are. Okay, go ahead and refuel. Go to the missions and upload our data. And I think you'd kind of reach a point in this game where, you know, you've effectively won because there are no more upgrades that you can get. So you just kind of continue playing for the fun of it. What I think I'll actually do is create a new profile and start over from the beginning as well. Because um, I've been playing on this profile long enough that you know, I've gotten everything that I can get. So let's go ahead and do one more. Let's do a, uh, a uh, transport. So we'll take mission number one, hit accept, select navigation, and we're taking this one to Charlie. 
Okay, so we just need to hover up, turn around, and go to Charlie, and then drop off the cargo that we currently have, because when you do the transportation, they load up the cargo for you automatically. All right, and rotate around. So there we have Charlie, that big green indicator. And just out of curiosity, I'm going to use the boost on this mission just because I mainly just want to see what it does. Because <laughs> I've never used it. Alright, so let's boost. Here we get blue flames. Fancy. Alright, need to pitch up a bit now. going. Okay, so we'll continue boosting until we're about halfway there. I mean, we'll continue thrusting with the vessel pitched over until we're at least halfway there. I think this is close to the fastest I've ever gone in this game, 20 meters a second. I don't usually move very quickly, especially on the moon. 22. I hope I, I hope I don't overshoot and crash. Okay, we're pretty much halfway, so let's uh, go back to the zero pitch and then just kind of start getting a feel for, you know, if we need to eliminate velocity. I would say we do for sure. Let's pitch back. And let's eliminate a lot of this velocity because we're moving pretty quick. And let's see, that's probably good enough. Pitch back over and land. Okay, bit of right translation. And yaw the vessel a bit this way. Take out some of that roll. We just have to move forward and land, and then we will have completed the cargo transport. I feel like the cargo that I'm carrying is fairly light. I didn't look at the, I didn't look at the mass, but it just doesn't feel like it's weighing the vessel down as much as the lost transport missions do. be cool if we could get some like I don't know if you call it DLC or whatever they call it on Steam but maybe some additional bodies like mm, IO Europa Ganymede that kind of thing and maybe some different categories for missions since there's only those three but I'm pretty sure the developer finished this game like five years ago and is done with it. I don't think they have any intentions of doing anything else with it. Because I saw a couple years ago he was working on another game. Okay, just touch down here on the pad gently. And we're down. Okay, so then we go to missions, I believe, and yeah, unload the cargo. And that'll give us our money and experience, which at this point don't mean much because we have all the upgrades that we can possibly get. All right, let's go ahead and refuel our ship. And yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video as well. Um, I am enjoying messing around with this game, so I think I probably will do a bit more. But I think probably what I'll do next time is uh, create a new profile, start over from the beginning, um, now that I've experienced kind of playing it all the way through and getting all the upgrades, it'll be interesting to start over from the beginning, kind of knowing what I know now. All right, so if you enjoyed watching this, uh, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of Lunar Flight. Uh, do you like these videos at all, or would you rather me just stick with Orbiter? I'm curious what your thoughts are on that. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.